Tesla's market cap hits $1 trillion as Hertz orders 100k electric cars. So let's get right into the story. But it seems like Tesla's doing pretty darn good. So shares of Tesla surged past the $1 trillion mark on Monday, making it the first automaker to surpass this stratospheric threshold after Hertz announced a deal to buy 100,000 of Elon Musk's electric cars in an overhaul of its rental fleet. Under the mega deal, the biggest ever rental car order for electric vehicles, the company said Hertz will shell out $4.2 billion for the 100,000 Model 3s. That works out to about $42,000 per car, which is close to the current list price and about 25% more than what Hertz has typically paid in its wholesale deals. The deal, which was described as an initial order, is slated to be filled over the next 14 months, and Tesla is meanwhile free to cut similar deals with other car rental giants as a global shortage of automobiles persists. So shares of both companies surged Monday on the news, with shares of Tesla headed by tech billionaire Elon Musk up 9% at $991.95, hitting an all-time high and giving the company a market cap of more than $1 trillion. And Hertz shares up 7% at $26.43. Sweet Lord. You know, I actually would not be surprised if Elon Musk stays the head of Tesla. I would not be shocked to see Tesla hit a $3,000 share price. I would not be surprised to see that. Now, will it ever actually hit a $3,000 share price? Who knows? Feel free to give your thoughts if you end up stumbling upon this. But I feel like they're just so far ahead of everyone in terms of technology and not just technology this is another side factor that like a lot of people really need to think about as well it's also like the word of mouth of tesla right like there are so many people who will tell another person to go buy a tesla because they love tesla so much which is an extremely powerful thing which a lot of people don't think about, right? Because let's put it this way, right? Let's just say like Hertz. How many times has someone basically said like, oh, how about you go rent a car from Hertz? Probably never, right? But you've probably heard someone's like, hey, you should go buy a Tesla from someone before, right? Which makes it a little bit more likely that if you see on the lot of a Hertz company, like Hertz, you know, not really dealership, it's like a rental lot, right? You'd be more inclined to try out a Tesla than any other car, right? Because one, you've probably heard that it goes super fast. Two, you probably heard that it's pretty nice inside. Three, you probably heard that it's a very different experience than any other car, right? Like there's a lot of word of mouth surrounding Tesla, their cars, and everything about it that it would not be surprising that they do very, very well in the future. And they're already doing well right now. But I'm saying, like, this is kind of like the same thing with iPhones, right? A lot of people... Tell everyone else, like, oh, you should just go get an iPhone. Oh, like, why don't you have an iPhone? Oh, you don't have an iPhone? Are you poor? Like, it's like this word of mouth thing that, like, it gets into the culture of people, right? And it's a very powerful thing that a lot of people tend to overlook. So, meanwhile, one Hertz shareholder said he doesn't believe the company will run out his Teslas for cheap, speculating that it's eyeing a rate averaging $120 a day, similar to what it currently charges for a BMW. And with a rental car shortage continuing to rage industry-wide, the rate might be closer to $200 a day in the near term, according to a source. So Jeffrey's analyst, Hamza Mazari, who closely covers the car rental space, told the Post 
He believes in a normal car rental environment, hurts my rent tested threes for about $85 a day. A premium price, but lower than the Hertz shareholder predicts. And so in the most recent quarter, Hertz said he rented cars for an average of $64 a day, much higher than the $42 average two years ago before a worldwide microchip shortage sparked a global shortage of vehicles, according to a Hertz shareholder. So the rented car giant, which emerged from bankruptcy just four months ago, said Monday that Tesla's new mega fleet of Model 3 sedans will start becoming available at select Hertz locations in major U.S. markets and overseas early next month. So it's the first big announcement for Hertz since it's emerged from bankruptcy in June under new owners, Nighthead Capital Management and Certeris Management. So while Hertz is in the early stages of electrifying its rental car fleet, Tesla getting an order of this magnitude highlights the broader EV adoption underway in our opinion. As part of this oncoming green tidal wave now hitting the U.S., Dan Ives, managing director at Wedbush Securities, said in a note, This Hertz deal is a major feather in the cap for Tesla and speaks to where demand is heading in the EV transformation hitting the auto sector globally. The company also unveiled a new marketing push featuring NFL legend Tom Brady. Hertz is changing the game when it comes to the future of mobility and has come through for me time and time again, Brady said. I've been driving an EV for years and knowing Hertz is leading the way with their electric fleet speaks to how the world is changing and the way companies are approaching being environmentally and socially conscious. The Model 3s will amount to 20% of the company's fleet. Hertz will build out a network of charging stations while also gaining access to Tesla's as it launches a plan to go fully electric in the coming years. So Tesla's get about 200 miles per charge, which should work well for Hertz as a renter typically drives about 140 miles according to a source. Part of Tesla's rationale is to enable curious customers to more easily try out a Tesla. Meanwhile, the deal will boost Hertz's image as a more upscale environmentally friendly, and Hertz plans to list all its shares around January as it reemerges from bankruptcy, with most stock currently still held by creditors, according to the shareholder. Nevertheless, some insiders said the deal poses risk for both companies. Tesla runs the risk that Hertz could make it less of a premium brand. Toyota Corolla, for example, took a hit to its reputation after it started selling vehicles to rent a car companies the Hertz shareholder said. Electric vehicles are now mainstream, and we've only just begun to see rising global demand and interest, said Hertz interim CEO Mark Fields in a Monday press release. Wedbush estimated that demand for Tesla's is outstripping supply by roughly 30,000 cars, with the chip shortage extending wait times for Model Ys and some Model 3s into the spring. However, big supply help is on its way for Musk & Co., as the long-awaited Gigafactory hubs in Austin and Berlin are said to have the red ribbon cut over the coming months and should expand Tesla's capacity to roughly 2 million units annually over the next 18 months, Ives wrote. And Musk recently assured that the Berlin factory will open in November, and reps for Tesla and Hertz didn't immediately respond to requests for comment. Feel free to give your thoughts, but honestly, this kind of goes to show you how more mainstream Tesla's are actually becoming to where there is big money starting to come and back it up, right? I, there's a lot of lot of money supporting Tesla right now, which is actually a very good thing, right? Because you got to think about it like this, right? Tesla is leading the way in terms of the electrical vehicle market. But by doing so, if they end up getting a lot of market share, right? But not only that, if they're able to get basically market share of like gas cars as well through like deals like this, right? It would actually make the infrastructure for EVs a lot easier, right? Because the more EVs that get on the road, the easier it is to actually have the infrastructure for a nationwide, basically, system of EVs, where 
you could do road trips to basically in the middle of nowhere and still end up being fine, right? That'd be actually a very cool thing to see in the future, right? But that being said, I feel like things like this just goes to show you that Tesla, if it keeps on its pace, could easily hit probably like a two grand or three grand price point per share, which would be very interesting to actually see in the future. But again, feel free to give your thoughts. And if you want to learn how to get out of debt, go to 40inbox.com.